Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Deep Rock Galactic. Okay, this is kind of rude spawn. Uh, today, uh, we're, <laughs> we're dying. Today, we are looking at an overclock. Specifically, re-looking at an overclock. Uh, overclock that's... Okay, I'm, I'm so mind flooded. By all this fucking shit. Dude, this chamber sucks. What the hell, brother? I'm really looking at an overclock that I initially maybe undervalued. I got a variety of tips about how people use this overclock. I'm speaking, of course, about the rotary overdrive overclock. What, you lived? So, what people said to do was to lean into the fire archetype. Uh, so that is what I'm doing. I'll just show off the build right now. This might just be a mulligan already because holy fuck. Dude, the real, the big Ks are so messed up on this patch. Okay, I'm just gonna abort and I'll see you guys back in the cave. God, I feel like I could fucking exit the game and load in quicker than the show would be done. Oh no, it's a big cave yet again. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Just gonna kill this NATO site breeder very quickly. Like, there we go. There's a NATO site row. But that doesn't really matter as much. Alright, this is manageable. This is a manageable first cave. Yep, I don't know what they did. The cave geno algorithm. But very often I find myself just getting absolutely fucking decimated whenever it's a big cave. It's not used to happen. Uh, I was hoping to light that guy on fire. Maybe that was a little bit optimistic. Just gonna shoot this guy. And then shoot this guy. So the juice or whatever. Okay, I got myself pinged. The juice that I heard there was to be squeezed is basically you can... Get yourself, like, in a group, and then overheat your gun, and then when you hit the little button, you'll instantly un overheat it and begin shooting again. This overheat fears all of the uh, nearby bugs, and additionally damages them. So it gives you like a humongous amount of space to work with, basically. Not ready. There's recharging. Die! Okay, this is pipeline number one. We've got two lives remaining and an iron will. It's fairly good. Getting a little bit super duper pings. I was also recommended to take the dash perk to of a space building option and I concur. I used to run the dash on the driller or the gunner. Don't know why I stopped. I think with my main sort of uh, build I use it still. Uh, I guess I'll deposit some shit into the main thing. I need to get a uh, resupply going before I run out of nitra, run out of ammo. There's a ton of loot bugs here, so I'll probably be able to get my stuff off of them. Get enough nitra, I mean. Because each loot bug has like up to like 14 or nitra or something like that. So, you know, it adds up. We're already almost out of main ammo. 
that's definitely chunks her ammo pretty rapidly. Just slowly navigating over here. Guess I'll grab this pearl and toss it over to the platform where I may or may not pick it up. All right, Bosco, make it go boom. Thank you. Want to get rid of that guy as well. I guess my resupply is going to be right here. That's slightly not in the greatest spot. But that is fine. I'm going to pick up one ammo pack right now. And then one later. I need to use my revolver more. I see there's a bunch of bugs coming. Just going to deal with them. Oh, fucking stink tails. Fuck off. <clears throat> you bastard. Let's go. That was pretty nice. I see there is another punk jack over here. Fantastic. Then I guess the next one is going to be in this direction. Bad hazard, I guess. I think I said guess twice there. Uh, I'm hearing music, which I think means a swarm is coming. I wasn't paying attention to mission control. Airborne hostiles. Fuck me, dude. Uh, I got myself in the corner. I'm just gonna... Use the opportunity to blast these guys away. By the way, the AoE radius is very large on the heat explosion. With this OFC, which is very cool. Like, you can see the bug all the way back there got friggin' roasted in the literal sense. Come on, get blasted, Julio. <laughs> get blasted, face. Is there going to be more bugs? Here's the more bugs. God, these enemies are so tanky. Oh! <laughs> Dude, did my entire HP bar? How much HP did I have? Not enough, apparently. The wave is thinning out too, apparently. Uh, I think I'll use the minigun itself here. Out of ammo. Extremely not great. Just gonna fill my pockets up and start navigating to my resupply. If there's an area, it looks like there's a tiny cave right next to the big guy that probably leads to the next pipeline. So that'll be the way to go. It's gonna grab up another resupply pack. I would double dip, but I don't think I'm necessarily so nitrate out that I can yet. Just a double dip at will. I think if I dig, yeah, right here, I'll be in the perfect spot. I can shoot another core down, theoretically speaking. There we go. Okay, we can go all the way over there. Guess I will do that. Uh, excuse me? Grenade, I wanted you to go boom there. Oh, uh, well. Uh, Bosco, please mind this. Where's that Morden? Here you are, you little alien freak. Get friggin' incinerated. Bugonoids. Alright, I think that's all the bugs in this chamber dealt with. Let's call this pump jack down, and then we can get actually uh, going. Pump jack launched. 
grab this bismore as well. Now I just need to connect the three pipes and then we can actually get pumping. Which would be very nice. I see there's a corn fuser down here. Honestly, I'm not really lived up enough where I feel comfortable using it. Uh, what was that noise? Is that a bulk detonator? That'd be really rude if it was. It certainly sounded like it. Oh, that's what the incendiary grenades are secretly for, though. Igniting big enemies so I can just infinitely use a revolver on them. I think I should top myself off HP once. Oh, it's out of reach. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to get started on the piping right now. Methinks. So let me pick up all the random bits of nitro on the ground as well. Ooh, that is totally a bulk detonator. Oh, I hate you, bulk detonator. I gotta be like this. Can't you just go live in some other cave? Dude, the fire revolver actually fucking totally eviscerates it, though. My man's already dead after, like, a clip on has 5.25. That's amazing. Alright, build the ship, Bosco. Just gonna... Continue my piping journey. Might be a slightly inefficient route, but I care not. Because it's not me building the pipes. That's a problem from somewhere, for someone else down the, uh, the pipeline. Uh... Okay, I need to blast this, I think. Here we go. Can I just get it in? No, it's blocked. Here we go. Magnificent. Now I can put the next pipeline on this pipeline. So I can pipeline my pipeline. Now I'll be glorious as well. Just kind of like trying to put the nodes on top of the other nodes. Uh, Bosco, you might as well get working on this next one as well. There we go. Amazing. Then I can veer off over here, and I think I'll be able to just directly go up the crystal. That's pipeline number two done. I see this nitro. I'm going to mine it as I want to get another respawn going. I think we might actually have it. Yes, I believe so. We got a lot of bugs, apparently. Definitely not a fan of that. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Fuck. Bro, can you hold the swarm off for like five seconds, please? No, he's not holding it off. Okay. Well, we're back up to half ammo. It's a nice, uh, diverse type of swarm, it seems. Bugs in the sky and on the ground. Uh, burn, 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 burn. Oh! I'll do another one. Dude, I'm really loving the AoE and flaming. I will say that. Just gonna destroy some of these guys. I think a flea got roasted in the crossfire. And I can't say that I mind that. Just to redirect into a different location. There's not that many airborne enemies, so it's a lot less risky. Oh, I love just pinging these guys from afar. Inflaming them from afar as well. Oh, I'm out of ammo. 
Okay, we're gonna be relying on the revolver from this point forward. Come on, perish. Also perish. Amazing. I think I'm just gonna run on up here to get another resupply pack. I am exposing myself to a little bit of danger, but this will force the bugs to land, and then I can burn them. And honestly, I have a shield drone, so... No reason not to use it and resupply. No, this this uh, really handled this swarm pretty nicely. We'll state that. I mean, definitely part of it was the cheese that I employed, but, you know, sometimes a little cheese is necessary. Higher hassles. Uh, this is a really steep chasm. I bet I could bridge the gap here as long as it didn't go too crazy with it and I completely destroy it. Yeah, this should totally be in range. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Let's go. That's high level technology. This is also high level technology. It's, it's doing the old bit like in a cartoon when you uh, like nail down a plank of wood and then walk on the plank and then nail down another one. Just infinite like Minecraft bridge over. Alright, I think that's that horde that group dealt with. And the uh, overclock feels very weird, kind of, I will say. Like, I'm both, like, high damage and low damage. Like, a disturbing mix between the two. Uh, do I want... I think I do want to try to pick up all the nitro... Nitra I got on the ground. There might be enough for an entire resupply. Can you account for loot bugs as well? I'm just gonna be waiting for the drone to build, anyways. No! Oh! Fuck! Oh my god, this shit's done. Dude, I can't slide on this one because the cord's in the way. Uh, do I want to go get more nitra? I think I want to start the refinery, grab a pack of ammo, and then go for the nitro. That'll be my my order op of operations. Only need to grab like 30 of it, basically. Actually, even less. Wait, I see uh, I see a vein of nitro over here. I'll just fill my pockets right here, and that should be enough. That is glorious. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to deposit it right now, because I'm hearing a lot of hatred coming from the Bugganoids. By the way, if you didn't know, you can hit E while on the pipeline to break, basically. Stop piping. Oh my god. No! Okay, being stationary, not a good idea. Uh, I'll get this this uh, red sugar. What the hell did I hit? Okay, I <laughs> think I, I power attacked a bug and healed myself. You little roly poly fucks. Okay, hold on. There's a pipeline break. Uh, excuse, that laser did not represent reality there. Repair that shit, Bosco. I can't believe I actually hit it and not a bug. I'll repair this pipeline. And I'll just get these guys burning. They can die in their own time. 
Amazing. I think I'm gonna grab another resupply pack right now. So I don't run out of ammo mid wave. That is a shit ton of bucks. I'm just gonna let myself overheat and then pick up the pieces. Oh, yes. Uh, I need to keep moving. Dude, the overheating doesn't actually matter at all with these coolant things. I feel like my main complaint with the overclock is sort of a uh, moot at this point. Uh, I'm gonna drop a shield down. Either way, though. Uh, excuse me, where's my enemies? Here's some enemies. Oh, the pipeline did I broke in. That's what went down. Right, I'm just gonna try to squeak a quick resupply right now. God, I hate the acid spitter so much. Where is this fucking freak? You septic piece of shit. I hate that they can, like, angle themselves where they can shoot without exposing themselves. It's so messed up. Alright, uh, Bosco. I'm repair this. I'll go over here. Toss a flamer. I completely miss them for the most part. I was very careful to hit E, specifically in the spot to repair the pipeline, so I wouldn't go flying into it. Machinery is running gun, guys. That's what I like to see. I <laughs> got a little bit of bounce by the roly poly there. No big deal. The thing is almost done. The mission, that is. Just gonna resupply right now. And um, I think I should launch the rocket just immediately. And just ignite all the bugonoids. Oh no, there's so many fucking bugs. Oh, I need to build distance. Oh, luckily I have the dash. My shields are back. Don't think I'm going to be using the respy, to be honest. It is what it is. I can barely see the bugs because of the uh, contrast. Everything looks dark. Oh, crap. Right, bugs. Oh my god, I'm just right at the drop pod. Are you serious? Oh. Okay, fucking fuck you, septic spreaders. The drop pod's done. Oh no. Oh my god, the 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 burning goop. I land in a pile of goop. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna have a small window of invincibility. I can use the shield to protect my retreat, and then boom. Let's go. Dunk it, dunk it, dunk 278 bugs. <laughs> I don't think I shot a single swarmer. There's so many friggin' bugs. I got another script. A scripity script. Some one inch closer to the wonderful stuff. The bow, the rough buster skin. I could get Blood Moon for the Engineer, but I feel like the, the Honeycomb pattern is just too, too nasty. Alright, so that was the relook at the Rotary Overdrive Overclock. I will admit, I think I was slightly too harsh on the overclock initially. I think my rating is probably going to be the same, because I'm pretty sure I rated it like 3 to 3.5 or something like that. I don't think it's like a god emperor uh, build. 
but it, it, the synergy between the aggressive venting and the coolant charges and being able to just like blast that over and over definitely has me thinking that this is actually secretly a really effective overclock when paired with the right upgrade. I might be willing to amend it to a 3.75. So I, I'm just mulling over what, uh, or even a 4. So I'm mulling over uh, what other minigun overclocks I would use or want to use on this like higher has level. Like compact feed mechanism would uh, eh, not be very great. <laughs> Uh, Burning Hell. I think Burning Hell is really, really, really good. This is like the equivalent of that, kind of. Maybe Lead Storm. Yeah, I'll say it's a four beards. Wind built with the right things. Definitely the Cool as the Grave barely does anything. Completely fucks it. Yeah, I was pretty happy. I'm generally speaking not a super duper big fan of Gunner, uh, just in terms of mechanics and stuff. It feels very slow, and its movement tool sucks, and stuff like that. But I was able to hang in there. This wasn't like an easy has 4.25 mission, it definitely, definitely pushed me. Yeah, let's finish my thoughts. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Deep Rock Galactic. Goodbye!